Welcome to the game room. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, okay, we're continuing with Horror Pack B, and tonight we're doing Fluke Man. If you haven't seen uh, Fluke Man from the X Files, um, he's kind of a there's a, there's truly minimal colors here. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get let's get to it. Uh, okay, so as you can see. Um, he kind of looks like a, a mummy. Um, and the only real colors are going to be around his eyes and his mouth. Um, as you can see in the pictures, which I will put in the corner so you can kind of reference. But uh, if you haven't watched The X-Files, first of all, what's wrong with you? Um, and second, uh, I would highly suggest you go look this. I think it's called The Host is the uh, episode. It's kind of gross, but it's truly awesome. And you can see the flip man. Um, and if that's not what this is, well, that's what we're going to paint him up as. So, um, I'm going to start with, um, I guess we can go ahead and start with, going to start with uh, Blood Angels Red around his mouth and his eyes. And then we're going to do the deeper part of his mouth, probably in Flesh Terror's Red, and then we're going to do the whole thing, the rest of him, his entire body, in apothecary white. Now, he was primed with white. Uh, he's not the Gracier. Uh, I would prime him in white. You can kind of, you can see the difference. Uh, Gracier, and he's white. So that's why he's a little brighter than what you used to say. Okay, um, so let's just get started. And uh, we are at right at the two minute mark. We'll see how long this takes. All right, so we're going to start his mouth with the. Uh, Blood Angels Red. And for this, it's really just getting it down in there and then getting it on. We may not even need the Flesh Terror, but we'll see. All right, Fluke Man, we're done. Um, let me give that just a second to, to dry. And actually, we'll just start on the lower part of the body. Why wait? Let's just get keep going. Um, Apothecary. This is just going to highlight and shade um, the rest of the Fluke Man. Um, all of this is all... Him. So it is all, uh, it's all going to be white if you look at the pictures and uh, probably try to make it a little darker like this inset here so let it pull a little more there and maybe at the feet so let's just see how this goes and, uh, 
Start with the back. I'm going to go ahead and not let this pool in there, but I'm just going to kind of paint over the eyes and the mouth just to less intensify that world a little bit. I don't want it will help just kind of turn a little more pink. Okay, we're gonna let this dry, and we are at uh, seven minutes. It's about five minutes worth of painting. We're gonna let this dry, because I wanna see how it looks, and then we might come back and we might do a light dry brush of white to uh, pick up all of those edges that you can see and just give it a good highlight. And we'll see how the red looks afterwards. So anyway, uh, I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. You'll be back in about a split second. See you in a minute. Uh, all right, so he's pretty dry, and he's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a dry brush of the matte white, and uh, if you don't know how to do a dry brush, get a stiff brush. Um, this is an Army Painter uh, hobby dry brush, but if you have a stiff old brush or something like that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to load that up with paint, and then while it sounds silly, you're then going to wipe off most of that paint on a dry paper towel, um, hence the dry brush. And with most of that paint off, now you just have a little bit, and when you go over him, you're just going to pick up the raised area, so you can kind of see that happening right there. And this will just give a subtle highlight and really help bring out that detail. You don't want to do it too, too heavy. We're going to turn him white again. And you still want to maintain that gray down in those recesses. You just want to get those highlights. Right, especially that gray where the light would hit and make it a little brighter. Around his face. All right. Yeah, he looks better. So now rather than just all dingy, he still has that white. Um, picking out those highlights. And a little bit more. And 
just make him. I just make those details pop a little bit better. All right, uh, now his face. You know, I'm actually, I actually like. I actually like it. Um, I want to I'm gonna darken up just down inside his mouth a little bit more. And we'll do a little lighter around the edge, or a little uh, darker around the edge, but well, just a tiniest little bit of light to that brilliant angel's red. Just to lighten it up just a tad. any of my videos, you know I really don't do eyes, but these you kind of need to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Alright, cool. Um, Alright, we'll let that dry. We'll base him. We'll come back and take a look and see what it looks like. Alright, and there you go. Bookman completed. Uh, again, um, we are at 11 and a half minutes, uh, almost 12 minutes total video time, two minute intro, so, you know, 10 minutes, and, you know, he's done. And again, he was very simple. Uh, coloring scheme was not too difficult um, to try to figure out. And it makes it easier when you're only dealing with a you know a handful of colors. In this case, really only two, three colors, because we use the white for the dry brush. So three colors, and you have a pretty good you know pretty good looking model. If you want to go more, do more to it, you can. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, again, as I've said in every video, we go for tabletop three foot distance. If it looks good from you know three feet away, which is about the standard you know distance you're going to be away from a table if you're playing a miniatures game then it looks great. Um, and a lot of these, when you get them up close, they, they still look pretty good. Um, you know, so anyway, take it for what it's worth. If, uh, if this helps, if you, if you like the videos, please uh, subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment down below. Um, as I said before, you never know what the comments will, will lead to. Um, I do have some stuff that I do want to start giving away. I'll probably just take random comments to see, hey, you know, here's, here's what it is. So maybe we'll do that. Who knows? Anyway, um, like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment, and uh, again, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.